Hey there, friends and collectors. Welcome to another episode of Binary Sunset News. I am Mike, and we have another news today because it's the official street date for the release of the Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Now, this is the Black Series Walgreens exclusive that we had seen images of for the last couple months, but we can finally get our hands on them, but they are not easy to find. We're going to talk about that and a couple other different new bits of news that have popped up in the week. We have some Mandalorian rumors and some other confirmed leaked images of newer Black Series figures that we're going to be seeing very soon. Commence primary ignition. So many of you, like me, pre-ordered some of the Amazon exclusive 40th anniversary Black Series figures. The line was really amazing. They're all stylized in the same way as the Vintage Collection Wave, but in the six inch scale. Now, these exclusives were to Amazon, and I really like exclusives. I think it's great. I wish more stores would do them, but there was some trouble with some of these where we were getting messages a couple weeks after pre-ordering them, a month pre-ordering them saying, it's lost, we don't know if you're gonna get it. Are you willing to wait? I was surprised recently this week when the carbonized Han Solo showed up on my doorstep. Now this is sold out in minutes both on Hasbro Pulse and on Amazon. It was an Amazon exclusive that they also sold on Pulse for some reason for a little bit, but I didn't know it was gonna come. I didn't know when it was gonna show up and they had even sent me an email saying that it might not ever show up. So very excited to see this guy on my doorstep. Let me know if yours are slowly trickling in. I hope they are. Uh, I'm going to do a review of this guy very shortly because this is an amazingly cool figure in beautiful boxing from The Empire Strikes Back. The Mandalorian received an incredible amount of Emmy nominations and it went home with five victories in sound mixing, sound editing, visual effects, production design, and creative story writing. Now this is an amazingly cool new victory and a really cool badge to wear on their shoulder as we dive into the second season. Aside from this amazing news, we also got the season two trailer that was dropped this week for us, which is showing some really cool images. And to go in tied with that, we are finding some leaked images of the Black Series Mandalorian figures that we're about to be able to pre-order, about to be able to get someday soon. These new sets of figures are going to be in the same color scheme as the Mandalorian Stormtrooper and the full Beskar Mandalorian. It's going to be this dark burnt umber kind of orange color, and it's going to continue the diorama when looked at together with the rest of the figures. The two figures that we were confirmed through codes, but we are now doubly confirmed through some really cool leaked images are the Mandalorian Armorer, which is a really cool character that was added in this season as well as the Stormtrooper Incinerator Trooper. And again, great box art. I love the difference in variations of the Stormtrooper and the Clone Trooper design. The highlighty flashy colors on the white armor is really attractive and it translates beautifully in the Black series. Those images were given to us by yakface.com. I'm not sure whose Instagram they leaked through, but I found the images first on Yakface. Other Mandalorian news that we have found out in the last couple of days. Earlier this summer, we had confirmed code rumors in the Target app and in the Walmart app that there was gonna be a new series of Mandalorian build-up figures that were gonna debut later in the fall. We got confirmation that these figures not only are gonna be down the pipe very soon, but are also gonna not only be exclusive to the Black Series, but also in the Vintage Collection. Now this is a incredibly cool get because the vintage collection is the collector's collection. We had already seen previous Mandalorian figures realized in the 375 and so it's great to see them expand upon those models with further designs of the armor. We don't have any more information on that. We don't have the exact codes but we do know these are going to be debuting later in the fall with the price of the $34.99 for the Black Series figures and $24.99 for the vintage collection figures. Now this is double the price of a normal vintage collection figure, so we know that it's either gonna have two figures entirely or one with a bunch of accessories. Either way, I love the idea that they're gonna be expanding upon Mandalorian designs. They are fan favorites, they are my favorite figures, and they sell some of the fastest. So it's good that Hasbro is listening to not only the fans, what fans want, but also what sells quickest. So today is the official street date 
when we're supposed to be able to get our hands on the phase one Kamino clone trooper. I found one. I can I can proudly say I found one. I have my hands on one. I can also truthfully say it was not an easy task. Now I set out easy early in the morning. I set out with a mission, you know, I'll bop around to two, three, four Walgreens. I'll maybe find a couple and I'll end my day happily. I learned very quickly on that I was not the only collector out there, obviously. Uh, I also learned very quickly that these are not in abundance out in stores. Now, even though the official street date was the 18th, these were being sold straight out from the back of Walgreens. And because they were not register locked, they did not have to wait until the official street date to sell them. Each store also seems to only have gotten maybe one of them. I think the max number a store received was three, and that's not that many. <laughs> so again, these sold out in days before they were supposed to launch. I went out a day or two early and still had some serious trouble finding them. I ended up having to travel to the next state over actually to find it. I made a little a bit of a, a day adventure of it, which was cool, which was amazingly fun. But uh, I really hope that if you had to traverse around your state or your surrounding states that you did land yourself one and were able to find yourself your own clone trooper. I woke up this morning with hope in my eyes, feeling that I might be lucky able to find another one at my local Walgreens. Uh, after traveling around, I was able to find nothing again and i further confirmed by talking to one of the retailers there that there weren't any even in the state or even in my surrounding states i was surprised by this but i checked on the app and using the upc code on the bottom and the wic or the WIC code that was provided earlier this week i was able to look it up on the walgreens app and they were available as of this morning early in the morning to purchase online through their app so I did, I was able to get a couple extra through the app. I hope, I don't know if anyone else was able to do this because right before shooting, I recently logged right on the app to see if I could get some more or see if I could report further and I wasn't able to find them. I did notice that there was not a buy quantity on the Walgreens app. So if you wanted to buy a dozen, you could buy a dozen. I noted that these would sell out very quickly because of this and they did in a matter of hours. So I'm shooting this around three o'clock in the afternoon. I checked the store around nine o'clock or the online store around nine o'clock. So between the hours of nine and three, they're completely sold out. Again, I don't know when this was went live on the app or online, but by halfway through the day, they were all gone. A very, very rare and a very, very wanted figure. This is an incredibly cool find. Again, I hope you were able to find yours. Stay tuned here so that you can learn the best news on where to nab your own. I'm also going to be doing a review of this guy very shortly so you can really get an in-depth in -depth look on how great this figure is. A bit of good news I learned while talking to a Walgreens employee is that these Phase 1 lieutenants are labeled in their system as holiday toys. Now, this is part of their holiday restock. Every Walgreens is getting a complete redo of their toy aisle so there's a good good chance that these are not only going to be restocked for the upcoming thanksgiving holiday season but also later into the year walgreens doesn't get a lot of exclusives and they do a decent job about restocking their exclusives throughout the year the last walgreens exclusive that we saw was the clone commander obi-wan kenobi and that one was able to be found well into that year and it was restocked around different stores so hopefully they'll pop up online. Be sure to check in here. I'll make a note of that as soon as they do. Also, keep checking out your Walgreens because they get shipments every week. And even though they're not going to have an abundance of them, there's a good chance there might be one in a truck and at your local Walgreens just popping in the store. Thanks for watching another episode of Binary Sunset News. I wish you luck out there finding your Phase 1 clone troopers. Keep tuning in here for other news about how to get them and other great reveals that Hasbro treats us to. This is a big month. Later in the month, we're going to be getting the Hasbro Pulse convention. So there's going to be a lot of reveals and pre-orders that are going to be quick at our fingertips. So make sure you stay in the news. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day out there. Stay strong, stay safe, stay sane. And remember, the Force will be with you always. <laughs> I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe.